Have you ever stumbled upon a TV series that's equal parts funny, shocking, and heartwarming? Well, if not, you're in for a treat. Enter Empty Nest, a gem from 88 that's bound to keep you glued to the screen. This series packs a punch with its blend of humor, surprises, and touching moments that'll leave you wanting more. So stick around because there's a roller coaster of emotions waiting for you. Now we want to hear from you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this series? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. Let's keep the empty nest spirit alive. Television in the late 1980s witnessed the emergence of a sitcom that struck a chord with audiences, portraying the humorous yet relatable dynamics of a family. It's centered around the life of a widow pediatrician, his two adult daughters returning home, and their everyday interactions. The show quickly gained popularity for its witty humor and talented cast, especially the portrayal of the father figure. This sitcom resonated with viewers by addressing common family challenges in a light-hearted manner. Interestingly, it gave rise to another successful series about older women living together, adding to its cultural significance. Beyond TV, the show left its mark on merchandise and inspired various adaptations in books, comics, and stage productions, showcasing its enduring influence on entertainment. Overall, this sitcom's impact on popular culture remains cherished by fans worldwide, cementing its status as a timeless classic in television history. Following the unsuccessful backdoor pilot, the show's creators decided on a major overhaul. The original cast from The Golden Girls' Empty Nest was replaced, bringing in Richard Mulligan, Dinah Manoff, Christy McNichol, Park Overall, and Bear the Dog to form the new ensemble. On screen, Christy McNichol's wardrobe reflected the fashion trends of the time, with several episodes showcasing her in mismatched earrings. This subtle touch added a touch of contemporary style to the series. A noteworthy connection existed between Dinah Manoff and Christy McNichol before Empty Nest. They had previously worked together as teenagers on an episode titled The Sleeping Gypsy in the TV series Family. The decision to rework the cast and incorporate these changes breathed new life into the series, setting the stage for the unique dynamics and interactions among the characters. It also allowed the show to resonate with the audience in ways that the initial attempt did not. Richard Mulligan and Dinah Manoff, familiar faces from Abix Soap, found themselves reunited in another television venture. Empty Nest, a series created by Susan Harris, brought them together once again. In the show, Laverne forms a close friendship with Sandy Miller, a character played by Stephanie Hodge. Interestingly, Sandy is a key figure in the spin-off series Nurses, adding depth to the interconnected world of these TV shows. The series theme song, Life Goes On, became a recognizable tune. Initially presented in a slower, comically melancholic arrangement, it later transitioned to a more upbeat version with female backup singers. This change coincided with the show's evolution, starting in the fourth season and continuing until its conclusion. The creative touch of songwriters John Bettys and George Tipton, coupled with Billy Vera's performance, contributed to the show's distinctive musical identity. This alteration in the theme song reflected the shifting tone of the series as it progressed, capturing the essence of Empty Nest. In summary, Empty Nest not only brought together familiar faces from soap, but also expanded its universe with connections to the spin-off nurses. The evolution of the theme song paralleled the show's changing dynamics, creating a unique and memorable viewing experience. Before joining Empty Nest, Dinah Manoff and Park overall starred in a sitcom pilot called The Line, produced by Paul Younger Witt and Tony Thomas. Manoff played Karen Cooper, a young mother adjusting to life on an airplane factory assembly line, while Park played her coworker Lucy. Estelle Getty, known for her role as Sophia Petrillo in The Golden Girls, joined Empty Nest for its last two seasons after her tenure on The Golden Girls and The Golden Palace. Richard Mulligan portrayed Dr. Harry Weston in Empty Nest, The Golden Girls and Nurses. Set against the backdrop of a southern drawl, Nurse Laverne Todd, portrayed by Park Overall, brings an authentic touch to her character on the TV series. Born in Horse Creek, Tennessee, Overall's real-life southern roots shine through in her portrayal. In the initial seasons, the show's opening sequence featured the Weston home as its focal point. However, a shift occurred in the fifth season, redirecting the camera to capture the left side of the Weston house, a change maintained until the series concluded. Behind the scenes, the production spared no expense on medical props, allocating $2,000 for stethoscopes, scales, cotton ball jars, and uniforms featured regularly. From a $20 retractable syringe to a two $500 intensive care hospital bed setup, the show navigated a range of costs to bring medical authenticity to the screen. 
Such attention to detail contributed to the show's realistic portrayal of a medical environment, grounding its narrative in the everyday tools and settings of healthcare. The transition in the shooting location added a subtle visual shift to the series, aligning with the evolving dynamics of the narrative. Navigating through the corridors of authenticity, the show maintained a balance between the practicality of medical tools and the evolving narrative landscape. This blend of realism and narrative flexibility became a hallmark of the series, marking its distinctiveness. In its inaugural season, David Leisure's role in Empty Nest was initially slated for just 13 episodes. However, due to the character's overwhelming popularity, he extended his presence throughout the entire season and continued as a consistent figure in nearly every subsequent episode. Bear the Dog's sibling, Julio, took on the role of Dreyfus in action scenes, showcasing a livelier demeanor than Bear. During the earlier season's opening credits, it was Julio who could be seen alongside Richard Mulligan, energetically running about. Among the characters in Empty Nest, Dr. Weston and Charlie Diet stand out as the only two who never entered matrimony or engaged in long-term relationships. Their single status remained a distinctive trait throughout the series. In summary, David Leisure's character exceeded initial expectations, Bear's brother Julio played a crucial role as Dreyfus in action scenes, and Dr. Weston and Charlie Diets maintained a unique status in the realm of relationships within the series. In the world of TV production, interesting stories often unfold behind the scenes. Take, for example, a moment between B. Arthur and Dinah Manoff during the filming of a show. Arthur, a cast member from another series, got upset when she saw Manoff chewing gum on set. She demanded Manoff spit it out, but Manoff refused. This led to a heated exchange, with Arthur storming off in frustration, leaving the studio echoing with her footsteps. The main character in the series, played by Mulligan, was a widower, but he portrayed a loving family man. His warmth and sincerity shone through in every scene. Dinah Manoff, who appeared in The Golden Girls and starred in the spin-off, had a mother who turned down a role in The Golden Girls, a decision that influenced both their careers in unexpected ways. These behind-the-scenes connections and stories added an extra layer of drama to the world of television production. While viewers only saw the polished final product on their screens, the reality behind the scenes was just as genuine as the stories unfolding on screen. These tales remind us that the entertainment industry isn't just about scripts and performances. It's also about the real relationships that form the backbone of every production. Amidst the glitz and glamour of Hollywood, the clash between B. Arthur and Dinah Manoff serves as a vivid example of the passion and dedication that fueled the making of Empty Nest, a show that touched the hearts of viewers worldwide. And with that, we glimpse the intricate dynamics that shaped the shows we love. In its course, Empty Nest saw notable guest appearances and incidents. Before starring in Blossom, Mayim Bialik, executive produced by Paul Junger Witt, and Tony Thomas made two guest appearances in Empty Nest. Playing Lori Kincaid, one of Dr. Weston's patients, she sought his company for a school dance in the RN, who came to dinner. And Harry knows best, she convinced Dr. Weston that a nose job was necessary to prevent ruining her life. During the fifth season, Park overall, with a passion for skating, suffered a severe leg injury, leading to her absence from several episodes. Upon her return, she spent additional episodes on crutches with a cast due to the injury. In season one, Don Rio contributed by writing one episode. These incidents added unique layers to the series, showcasing both the challenges faced by the cast and the collaborative efforts behind the scenes. In the late 80s, a show introduced characters that really stuck with people. Lisa Riefel, just 18 at the time, played Emily, a character in her 20s really convincingly. Park Overall, who played Laverne, made sure her character didn't fall into Southern stereotypes. She stood up to writers to keep Laverne authentic. Then in 2014, David Rash brought back his character Jack Trenton in a movie called Amira and Sam. It shows how characters can stick around and be important even after the show ends. These actors made a big mark on TV. They played characters that people still remember and love today. Their commitment to making their characters real and keeping them alive in different stories shows how important good roles can be. Hogue Hospital in Newport Beach, California served as the backdrop for Community Medical Center in the establishing shots of the show. The hospital's exterior, captured in these shots, became synonymous with the medical setting of Empty Nest. Estelle Getty portrayed the character Sophia Spirely Petrillo Weinstock across five television series, showcasing her versatility as an actress. Her portrayal extended beyond Empty Nest to include the Golden Girls, Nurses, Blossom, and the Golden Palace. 
Bear the Dog became a constant presence throughout the show's duration. However, in some episodes, the canine character took a back seat, making occasional appearances rather than being a consistent focal point. These subtle details added layers to the empty nest narrative, with the hospital's real-life location contributing to the show's authenticity and Estelle Getty's recurring character showcasing the interconnectedness of television series. Bear's occasional absence in certain episodes provided a dynamic element to the show, offering variations in the storytelling. In the world of TV, there was a show called Empty Nest that started in 1988. It was about life in Broadway, and later in 2008, they turned it into a musical with the same name. People all over the U.S. still put on local versions of it. During the Broadway run, they talked about having Dinah Manoff join. She was in Greece and leader of the pack. She even went to one of the shows and left a nice message on their YouTube page. To be ready for any actor leaving, the producers had a plan. If Christy McNichol or Dinah Manoff left, they had Emily as a backup. This way, they could keep the show going smoothly. The main character, Dr. Harry Weston, had Libby as his wife. She made a touching appearance in the last episode, adding emotion to the end of the show. Empty Nest left its mark on TV and Broadway. The characters and smart casting decisions made the show special. In the late 1970s, two actresses, Christy McNichol and Dinah Manoff, formed a lasting friendship while working on a popular TV show. A decade later, they reunited to play siblings in a different family setting. Alongside them, Richard Mulligan, known for his memorable roles on various TV series, added his own unique flair to the mix. Within this show, Mulligan's character, Charlie Diets, brought laughter and charm as he navigated through life as a ladies' man and cruise director. The connections among the cast members and their shared history enriched the ensemble and made the show even more captivating. The intertwining relationships and previous collaborations among the actors created a sense of depth and familiarity that resonated with audiences. It's these connections that truly brought the show to life, making it a memorable part of television history. After undergoing some changes, Richard Mulligan landed the lead role of Dr. Harry Weston, primarily due to his long-standing friendships with key figures from his previous work on Soap. Christy McNichol left the series during its fifth season due to a bipolar disorder diagnosis, only returning for the final episode. Despite hailing from a broken home, Charlie Diets emerged as a surrogate son to Dr. Weston. Their dynamic added depth to the storyline throughout the series. Richard Mulligan, at 55 years old when the show began, portrayed one of the central characters in Empty Nest. Despite being diagnosed with cancer in 1994, he continued working until his passing six years later. Throughout the series, both Dr. Weston and Nurse Laverne Todd initially worked at Community Medical Center for five seasons. In the last two seasons, they transitioned to an inner city clinic where they were joined by Dr. Maxine Douglas, another seasoned doctor who guided them in maintaining the clinic's operations. Spanning a seven-year period, the sitcom Empty Nest shared a fate akin to fellow shows Benson and the Golden Girls marking the zenith of Wit Demasher sitcoms. This longevity set it apart as the final sitcom from the production trio to endure such a prolonged run. In an interesting turn of events, despite never sharing a scene in the show, Christy McNichol and David Leisure had both featured in the movie You Can't Hurry Love. Adding to the connections, Grace Zabriskie made a dual appearance on the show. Initially seen as Eva Harrisbow in the debut episode, she returned seven years later for the season finale, portraying Laverne's mother, Scarlett. The intertwining paths of the cast members over the seven-year run of the series offer a glimpse into the web of connections within the show. This connection extends beyond the screen, with shared experiences and roles that bring the actors together. In the realm of television, an accomplished actor, recognized for his work in various series, secured two Emmy Awards for Outstanding Actor in a Comedy Series. Notably, one of these accolades was received in 1989, a redemption after missing out in 1980 due to his involvement in the Screen Actors Guild strike during an Emmy Awards ceremony. This season, actor shared a captivating on-screen partnership with another renowned figure across three TV shows. Their chemistry unfolded in episodes of a series in 1977, another in 1985, and notably a third one in 1988. To enhance the show's appeal, guest appearances were made by actors known for their roles in the series Nurses, adding another layer to the interconnected experiences within the television landscape. These collaborative moments and shared history underscore the depth within the television narrative, contributing to the success of the show in both storyline and performances. Featuring a stellar cast, the series marked a significant chapter in television history, showcasing the talent and camaraderie of the actors involved. 
It was more than just a show. It was a testament to the richness of storytelling on the small screen. Crafting this narrative, one can appreciate the interconnectedness and collaborative spirit that fuels success in the world of television. Did you know that the actor who played the lead character in Empty Nest had quite a colorful love life? He went through four marriages and divorces before his passing. The show, which premiered in the late 1980s, initially aired right after another popular series. Over time, it shifted to different time slots before concluding its run. Empty Nest was set in a hospital, and it paved the way for another show focused on nurses working in the same medical facility. And that's a glimpse into the background of this series, a story about a widower's life that began in the late 1980s and influenced the creation of another medical drama. Throughout its run, five original cast members remained with the series, but only Mulligan would appear in all 170 episodes. According to Rue McClanahan, overall would spend her breaks roller skating in the parking lot of the production building. Richard Mulligan had appeared in four series created by Susan Harris Soap, The Golden Girls, Empty Nest, and Nurses. In the latter three, he played the same character, Dr. Harry Weston. Betty White portrayed Rose Nyland across multiple series, including Empty Nest, Nurses, and The Golden Palace. In Empty Nest, Nurse Laverne Todd, contrasting Dr. Weston, exhibited traits like toughness, stubbornness, and bossiness while maintaining a close friendship with him. Notably, Empty Nest served as the pilot for the Golden Girls, with David Leisure being the only actor to transition to the latter series, albeit with a character named Change from Oliver to Charlie Diets. Launched in the late 1980s, this TV series played a pivotal role in shaping the acting careers of Dinah Manoff, David Leisure, and Park Overall. Set in Miami, Florida, it shared a programming block with sister shows The Golden Girls and Nurses. All three shows, created by Susan Harris, often weaved interwoven storylines, allowing characters from each to interact. Noteworthy is the fact that Richard Mulligan and Christy McNichol, key figures in the series, had prior shared screen time in The Love Boat X plus A Golden Age of Graham and Kelly. This era-defining show, alongside its counterparts, showcased a unique narrative synergy that set it apart in the television landscape. Characters from different series seamlessly crossed paths, creating a cohesive viewing experience. The Miami setting added a distinct flavor to the storytelling, making the series a notable chapter in the careers of the actors involved. In essence, Empty Nest, alongside the Golden Girls and Nurses, marked a significant era in television, not just for its engaging content, but also for its innovative approach to storytelling.